Okay, on the other end of the spectrum, the value space. And whether it was Chrome or Linux or Windows, you guys did an amazing job delivering value-oriented Chrome and Windows systems down even below $199 last year. And we are now, I'm announcing today, shipping Braswell, the follow-on to Baytrail M and D, which is our latest 14 nanometer processor for value and entry PCs. Even thinner, sleeker designs with lower power, but twice the battery life and battery, li uh, twice the graphics rather, and battery life improvements of almost uh, over 10% versus our traditional Baytrail platforms. Again, validated on Windows, Chrome, and Linux, and we're seeing now over 40 designs today from essential PCs to all-in-ones. The star of the show this year will be Skylake and our sixth generation core, and today I'm proud to reconfirm it's on track for the second half of this year. We're gonna make significant and performance improvements with sixth generation core in both performance and battery life. We'll offer DDR4 for mainstream systems, and you saw uh, Brian yesterday show you some of the systems. I thought I'd just share with you a few of the reference designs in more detail here. So this is a reference design, a two-in-one detachable. Uh, eight millimeters uh, display. If you actually detach, you get a full 4K display. USB-C connectors. We're actually running USB-C, I think, over the connector here as well. Actually, a, a 4K display and an integrated wor world-facing 3D camera. So we're starting to see a real sense integrated into these tablets, but I can assure you I don't have fat fingers and just amazingly thin at under uh, eight millimeters here on that design. We're also gonna have some amazing all-in-ones, and this is our reference design for a portable all-in-one, uh, a 4K display here, but I just wanna show you just how amazingly thin a desktop PC is gonna get with a full core, sixth generation core experience and 4K display, under 10 millimeters thin. If I lay it flat here, you can see it almost disappears on the table, and this is why you can have that across the table gaming experience. It's just incredibly thin. And let me just kind of show you how thin it is. And I know you guys like big phones in China, so if you want to buy a phone, <laughs> we can sell it to you as a phone, no problem, okay? We're not stopping there on the desktop. One of the most exciting areas now is the miniaturization of compute. And what I wanted to show you here is this is something that's being used in business, large enterprise, and Internet of Things. Uh, this is a Weibo design. This is one of the world's smallest motherboards that actually takes a standard socketed CPU. If you see this, this is actually a 35-watt CPU on this, on this motherboard, LGA motherboard. And you can put it now in these amazing new designs. So imagine a full 35 watt desktop behind a smart sign, a point of sale terminal or a kiosk, or just a standard enterprise PC. Uh, amazing innovation by Weibo. But as you may have read in the press, we're gonna take that even further. And we're now moving to a new product called the Intel Compute Stick. And this is now a product that we're launching into the marketplace. It's an Intel quad core Atom, a Baytrail TCR, and it's incredibly thin. It's with Windows 8.1 Bing or Ubuntu Linux preloaded with one or two gig of memory and up to 32 gigabytes of storage and Wi-Fi all in this small device. It literally plugs into your HDMI port in the back of your monitor or TV and makes any product a smart quad-core Intel architecture-based experience. And we're gonna bring all the design collateral for this to you here in Shenzhen so you can begin building these on Intel architecture, whether you want them on Windows, Bing, or on Ubuntu Linux, starting just in the next few days and upcoming weeks.